All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harachach that belong to our apostles, the bishops, and the elders of the great millstone who teach, guide, and rule well. Greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you. Hope you like that, dear Shalom, unto you. The brothers are quiet with a uh, quick video. And just want to land back, man. Continue, continue picking up on this whole mode, showing you who's who and who's not who. So you had. All right, let's say the move was was zealous, okay? Okay, let's say that the, the Wi-Fi camp in, in, in Chicago or any of them that, you know, went, went to the protester spots, okay? Let's say that that was, that was just their zeal for the, you know, the spirit led them there. Let's just say that. But then we have um, the chief talking about, yeah, now, now everybody pull up. It's the pull up boys, and I'm in the red room, and we going red alert. We going to the gonna show up in Chicago for round two. Um, you lost round one. You should probably just leave that alone, okay? You should probably just leave that alone. But it's amazing how these younger brothers. Well, we know that the Wi-Fi camp is, it doesn't really have the the, the top wise men of Israel in their camp. And there's a lot of younger men. So the younger men decide to go out there. Then they compound it by other elder guys that should know better to come out and say, hey, man, we're going to be carnal too. We're going we're gonna, to, let's, let's be carnal. We got your back. Let's be carnal. We're going to let them, 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 them towel heads over there, let them know that they can't, like, wow, for real? That's that's what we're doing now. That's what the scriptures say to do. And then you double down on another leader of Israel, you know, one of the, the schools in Israel, doctrines of Israel or whatever you want to say. That's like, yeah, and that's who you're looking at in this picture here. Okay. Zabak. Okay. So this is this is now he's out there saying, yeah, they did a great job, man. And I, and I, and I, you you call them. And congratulate them, but you you do not let them know for staying strong for the truth or whatever you do. But that's nothing you need to go out to everybody, All right? The whole world don't need to see that. For one, for two, it wasn't a good job, man. It wasn't. Don't get down on yourself. Be be honored that you that that you you know were beaten and but then turn around and for the name of Yahweh Hashem yourself, but turn around and you still teaching. Okay, that's how we. A, a more like Yahweh Shai, but what do we see? We see the guys, yeah, man, we're going to do this and we're going to do that and just just pushing the the carnal way, man. Just pushing the carnal way. Bigging up the, the carnal way. But what do you hear out of Great Millstone? Because we're always the ones that are just doing something different, right? We're telling them, hey, bro, you know, that wasn't really a wise move that you went out there and these guys that's telling you that we're going to pull up and we got your back. Why you still you still upset about that? You chose to go out there. That's what you get when you go out there. Okay? Just like it said, like a man that plays with a serpent. Okay, who shall pity a man a charmer that, that plays with a serpent? Hey, y'all went out there and played with fire, man, got burnt. Okay? Shouldn't have been up at that joint. So knowing that, then you got people who said, nah, you made the, just basically confirming that you made the right decision because we're gonna do round two at the same spot. Okay, then another one, yeah, man, y'all did a great job, man. Nah, man, they didn't do a great job. You supposed, what was the leadership before, okay? What was the leadership before? And what should be happening, what everybody should be trying to understand is what is the fight that we're really fighting for, man? It's a fight of faith, okay? That's what we're really doing, man. This is really a fight of faith. So saying that, I got to go get my lick back. It's really saying I don't trust you. How about me outside to 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 avenge me? Okay, that's really what you're saying by saying, yeah, we got a round two, and you did a great job, and let's go get him next time, champ, and whatever this guy's saying, you know. But saying all of that, nah, man, that ain't the right message. Hey, bro, take the L and, and count it as you as, as part of the stripes that Yahweh Shai took, man. But 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 learn from it and be a wiser man moving forward. That's what a leader 
would say at this moment. But a real leader, if you guys are coming out the woodworks trying to be leaders of these guys, be a real leader and correct them on the doctrine. Be a real leader and break down the things that they don't understand. Be a real leader and give them ex uh, wisdom from your experiences, understanding from your experiences in this truth. Okay? But we know how you get down, Zabak. We know how you get down. I'm going to Times Square. I'm going to I'm going to Times Square at, at peak hours in the middle of the night. I'm going to I'm going to Hollywood at the peak hours, Hollywood Boulevard peak hours. We know how you get down. Okay? We know. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. That's cool. That's cool. Whatever. But what was the guidance and the leadership before? Hey, bro, don't worry about it. If you don't worry about having to go out there and jumping into that, you know, get letting the word go out there. Have faith that you how about you outside? Go and get your message. Oh, somebody in y'all spot? Okay, well, let's just go to another spot. The word don't go out void. And plus, you should be uploading it to the internet so that we know the unicorn is the information superhighway and this is where you really going to do the heavy lifting from. Okay? Or maybe it's just Great Millstone that think that way. All right, enough rambling. Let me get to these precepts because I'm basically pulling a bunch of precepts, and this ain't all of them, of course. This is just some that came to mind uh, real quick. I threw them in there, and they and, and, and here they go. Hebrews 2, we should know this one. All right, um, matter of fact, I started at 1. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. Hey, everybody get gets preached. You're going to hear the word. Everybody going to hear, but how you react to it is going to be different. Because we this is why we, we continually go into the 144,000 and the one-third, the elect of Israel that's going to make it. That's why we ain't setting up soup kitchens and food lines and food pantries or whatever else trying to feed all the Israelites we can find. Okay, we 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 throw the smorgasbord, if you will, out there for the uh 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 for the elect to pick up and know where to dine at. All right? Edifying them on, on how to move, what times we're coming into, prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. Okay? It says, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as to them but the word preached did not profit them so what are you guys reading if the word ain't profiting you if you don't know how to be prudent about things how to see the bigger picture now you got to go pull up in, in chicago to come have these guys back so like like the other like the other people gonna come back just to fight with y'all they're only gonna pull up on y'all if you're talking shit like you're gonna pull up but they ain't sweating it, man. I heard I heard the brothers out there say, hey, man, y'all got all this smoke for us, but how come y'all ain't got smoke for, for them over there? The small hats that's doing it. Which is real. It's what we say. Everybody want to have smoke over here in the land of the free, but go over there and have that smoke. You want to go rally and do all of this, man? Go over there and do all that. All right, but the point of it is, there's no reason for us to to mingle our message with that. No reason for that. All right, and all in today energy, let them have their thing out, man. Just a just a prophecy of more uprisings of the people. All right, it says, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it, and that's the issue, man. Some of you guys hear this word and it's sweet in your mouth and all of that, but but. But it's not mixed with faith. Because what faith is going to do, if faith is going to have you taste that sweet, and then it's going to get bitter in your belly, okay? And you're going to stay faithful. You know what? It's going to turn around, though. Because when you go to Matthew 13, it shows all the, you know, a bunch of different pitfalls you can fall up under, okay? But the truth of the matter is, do you endure all those things as a good soldier, okay? But it takes faith to do it. You got to have faith to know that you're going to get your lick back, but not in the flesh. You get your lick back in the spirit. Hey, shit happened to us all, man, particularly me. Things happen throughout my day all the time. I'm not worried about it because simply 
I know at the end of the day, these people that's causing these offenses, you know, against me in my life, my personal life, whatever, they're going to catch it, man. They're going to catch a missile. They're going to catch starvation. They're going to catch martial law, something, concentrate, whatever the prophecies have lined up. The most high has lined up for them in the prophecies. They're going to get caught up by them things, economic collapse and off themselves. Something going to go bad for them unless they wake up to the truth. All right. And be of the elect. All right. So I'm not worried about getting my leg back. Oh, oh, you trying to, you got me written up at work because of something. Man, who cares? Okay, who cares? I know when this shit collapses, they're going to be like, what What do I do? And too bad. It is just too bad. Okay? By that time. All right? But we got to have faith that this thing is going to come to pass. Okay? And, and if this thing come to pass, we know what the judgment says for the heathen, man. And what it says for us. But how you miss out on that, if you come short of it, if you if you be overcome by it, you fuck up and you and you start making carnal decisions when, when you need to make more spiritual decisions. OK, the spiritual decision is to use wisdom. You no, know, some of y'all don't like that word, but to use wisdom, not to worry about what, you know, to, to you know what we're going to go somewhere else and teach this week. They're not going to be here. We're going to go over there. I know they. <laughs> Or we'll just go sit do go to the house, do the sit down this week, because I know they tripping, and we'll just deal with it next week. Okay. Moving from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Let me read this verse three. For we which have believed do enter into rest. Our faith lets us uh be at ease, if you will. You know, be at rest. Like, oh, I ain't worried about it, because they're gonna get theirs. Right? As he said. I have sworn in my wrath. He had the Yahweh has sworn in his wrath that he going to judge this place. If they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. So he had this written from the very beginning. Okay. And we believe that. That is going to come out in our favor in the end, that he had it written from the very beginning, long before this soul walked the earth. He had it uh, written from the beginning. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go to Hebrews 11 and 1 first. Got to hit the faith scripture. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. When you go deeper into the word hope, it means expected. He gives you an expected end. Why? Because he told you what the end was going to be and how it's going to play out. The evidence of things not seen. Okay, how do you have evidence of things you don't see? Because your faith shows it to you. You know what? It looks like this is going to happen. You know, I'm going to move as if it's, it's, it's already happening. All right. Now, when you jump down to verse six, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And he will reward you when you diligently seek him. Okay? How do we diligently seek him? We study, we read, we fast, we pray. Okay? We, we put up these shows, these lessons. Okay? It's the second address, chapter 9, verse 7, one of my favorites. It says, And everyone that shall be saved... And shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. What are your works? The evidence of your faith. The things that you do to prove you have faith. You know, I'm going to take this on the chin, man. I'm going to take this L from, from these Palestinians, man. I'm going I'm to take this L in my personal life. I'm going to take this L of not making it in big time. Of not being rich. Of not having a big house and not having a big car or whatever. I'm going to just take these L's. Whatever the case may be, take it on the chin. Hey, I get it better in the kingdom. You know, Lord willing, I, I, I'm of the elect. It'd be wonderful. Okay. It says, uh, uh, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Okay. We believe that Yahweh is going to come with dyed garments from Basra. Okay. 
We believe that Yahweh Shai is going to judge the earth and come back in the whirlwind. And he's going to rescue his elect. And he's going to hide us in the pavilion. Then we're going to see the Son of Man. And we're going to look through the sea of glass and, you know, and look down to the lake of fire. We believe these things. Okay? So we don't need to take the sea hit. We we believe that he's going to, he's going to, um, we shall be, uh, they shall be hungry, but you shall eat. We shall, they, they, you shall drink, but they shall be thirsty. Okay? So on and so forth. All right? It says, shall be. Where, whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Though it was preached to both of us, they didn't have it mingled with faith. Okay? They, didn't, they, they want to react carnally. You know? And I'm not even going to go the provocateur route. I'm just simply saying the the way some of these people move, man, they're not moving like the elect. This guy should know better, man. Okay, he should be guiding this after 20, 30 years, how long he's been in this in this truth. He should be guiding them if he's if he's over them younger men. He should have been giving them routine counsel. Okay. You're supposed to uh, watch over the flock, man. If you're one of the elders, man. Okay. It goes on to say, matter of fact, that's good. Matter of fact, it goes into the ones that don't pay attention. Okay. So we don't need that. It's about the faith part. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I like that. Yep. <laughs> I got to start up. Um, yeah. Let me, let me start at 13. Man, that's a good one. Yep. Um, Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye in. I'm going to read through it quickly. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, the gate of difficulty. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many be, excuse me, many there be which go in thereat. Okay, going in the easy way, the, the carnal way, the, the, the natural way that man wants to go. But going in the straight gate is going in the way of wisdom. Going the way of, of leaning on your faith, taking the L, okay? So, and, and look, I don't count that as an L. When Paul and them got beat, they didn't count that as an L, all right? It says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few be there that find it. Just did the video about the red room, man, about the red alert, saying, um, uh, uh, which, uh, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. The, the spiritual way is, the, is unto life, but, but, but the carnal way is unto death. Okay? And few be there that find it. And it's not common to everybody. It was preached unto both of us, but, it, but they didn't, it didn't profit them. It didn't benefit them. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, and inwardly they are ravening wolves. Some of them just want to gather you up to, to, to use you up. Okay? Some of them want to gather you up to use you up. Some of them want to be in that spotlight because they want the fame. Some of them want to be famous or whatever the case may be. Okay? If they ain't right. If they're not of the elect. All right? Watch out. It says, do you know them by their fruits? Excuse me. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? You wouldn't gather the wrong things, would you? Well, how do you know if you're gathering the wrong or the good? Because it's in the spirit. And how do you know it's in the spirit? Because the word is saying it. Okay? Because we're, 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 we refer back to the word. And we move according to how, they move, how, how we should be moving with the instructions of the word. The things that are written before time are written for our learning. Okay? So every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, uh, but the corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Okay? All right, we, we, we've been spiritual all these years, and all of a sudden, 2023, we're going to get carnal. Man, what the hell's wrong with you, bro? Right? It says, every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. A matter of fact, 18, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, 
neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Therefore, by their fruits shall ye know them. Okay, you should know the fruit that we come from, man. Okay, whether you was from the old school, you know the fruits of our of the head of our camp, or you know the fruit of, of, of the wisdom that, that Great Millstone is constantly pushing out. The prophecy that we constantly doing, the diligence we showing. Okay. 21, it says, Not every one of you, excuse me, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. That is a scary thing to know, man. Just because you you know the name and you've been out teaching don't mean you're of the elect. Okay? So, but what would the elect be doing? Moving through the scriptures, man. Trying to be more like Yahweh Shah. All right? It says, uh, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Okay? I'll read it again. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that do the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Okay? Many shall say in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name have done many wondrous works, excuse me, wonderful works. And then will I say, and this is red letter Yahweh Shai saying it unto them, I never knew you. You were not the one that was plucked out of my father, uh, uh, that the great uh, the cluster that can't be plucked out of my, of my father's hand that he gave unto me. Okay, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You not of the, the Alahayim. Get out of here. Okay, if thou can't tell. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oof, man. Man. Look at this. Matter of fact, I'm going to read it because it goes. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken them unto a wise man. Don't let me hear y'all talking about wisdom. <laughs> Inside joke. It says, which built his house upon a rock. Okay. And the flood descended and the floods, excuse me, and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded on a rock. What rock is that? Okay. The rock of that cornerstone, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Petra, <laughs> Yahweh Shai, or Peter is another one to, to throw in there, but particularly built on Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man that buildeth his house on, upon the sand, and the rain descended. Now, if you out there not using wisdom, you out there not giving proper instruction, not giving late counsel, and then when you give late counsel, you're giving it bad like they can't, they see, th this is what I realized when I was watching this. You can't be hard on these guys for making a move that they probably shouldn't have made because you didn't warn them in the beginning, but you want to speak up now. A real leader is going to foresee the evil and, and, and show his men how to guide away from that. Okay. If he was really up under you, that's cool. You want to take him under your wing, wing but you should have been thought of that. You shouldn't wait till somebody get into something and don't let them get into nothing else. But then what you saying is continue with what you've been doing. Where's the instruction, man? Okay. Admonishment and rebuke is okay. It's a beautiful thing. All right. We love to be rebuked. All right. If you don't love to be rebuked, Especially now, now not just somebody with a grudge, as you think Great Millstone had, but we're showing you where in the scriptures you're going off, bro. And you guys get mad. You other camps out there, y'all get mad. All right. But are but 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 are we? Yeah, this is rude to always getting on everybody. But are but are we right with what we saying? Okay. Yes or no? Humble yourself to yourself and see for yourself, man. Okay. Anyway, it says. Um, and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. Okay. These things is going to fall, man. Cause they ain't, they ain't built on that rock. Okay. Don't want to use, always got something weird in the, in, in the spirit, man. All right. And a lot of you guys, uh, truly hate great millstone. Like you hate us. 
And you think because we rebuke you that we, that we hate all of you. We don't. It's actually an act of love, the correction that we're giving you. Okay? So beware about how you feel about your actions. All right? As we, as we should also. All right? Moving on. Now, this is John 5 and uh, 30. Let's see. Yeah. It says, uh, I can, can I of mine own self do, do nothing? As I hear, I judge, and judgment is, and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. Okay, if that's your how shy's mind, shouldn't that be our mind? Hey, all right, I got into it because I called this dude a towel head, or I called you, I said, Allah ain't shit, or whatever I said to him, you know, to, to provoke him. Okay, and I we, we got him up in fisticuffs, and now this is that, man. But hold on, am I doing my own will, or am I doing the will of the Father? All right, maybe you don't know how to use wisdom, or the, how to use uh, uh you know, extra be extra salty in the moment. Maybe you're not seasoned. It's okay. We know all of us were not seasoned at one point. It's okay. All right. But when somebody tries to give it to you, don't you know? Which we've been going back and forth with these guys over over little things, trying to hey man, look out for this, look out for that. And and you know they taking man, great music. Oh, we think they okay, okay, bro, okay. All right, so it says, if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. Speaking of John. But the point was that we're not doing the will for ourselves, man. We're doing the will of you. How about Shimei Shai? Okay? We correct you. In the spirit and in love of, of you, how about Shimei Shai? You so you can't ever say that nobody said it. Where is that written at? In Ezekiel, the third chapter? Okay. That's where. All right. Are we supposed to correct you and try to pull you out the fire so we get the the blood off our hands? We bring it out all the time. All right, let's go to um to this. All right, now I got Luke 18. Okay. Um, I'll start with the uh, KJV on the left. It says... Um, and he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint, saying, There was a city, a judge, which feared not. There was in a city a judge which feared not Yahweh, neither regarded him. Matter of fact, I'm going to go straight uh, NLT. And then I think I'm going to grab another uh, thing. Is anyway, it said, There was a certain uh, a judge in a certain city. He uh, he said, who neither feared God nor cared about people. A widow of that city came to re to him repeatedly saying, give me justice in this dispute with my enemy. The judge ignored her for a while, but finally he said to himself, I don't fear God or care about people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out with her constant requests. Okay. Then the Lord said, learn a lesson from this unjust judge. Even he rendereth a just decision in the end. So don't think, so don't you think Yahweh will surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night will he keep putting them off okay so if an unjust judge that we just keep bothering him just by please man do it right if you if you mail in a request to the police station or the or, or uh, um hr all the time eventually something's gonna happen okay when somebody has judge and rule over you. So if an unjust judge will, will eventually uh, hear your request, wouldn't a righteous judge, which the Heavenly Father is, hear, hear our request? All you have to do, fuck around too, bro. Pray. Pray and put a curse on him. Put, pray to your how about Shai, bro. 
We know what the outcome is going to be anyway, though. All right? So why we got to be all that extra, right? Because it's, the camera's on, and you in the red room, and you in the in the, in the, the, the head seat of your church. And I get it, and I get it. Okay, but be mindful if you're guiding these minds, these, these men's minds in a, in a righteous way. All right? Uh, I got that scripture in another uh, in the NLT. I'm going to go straight to, this is actually the NLT. I mean, excuse me, the GNT. Okay, good news translation. Straight to verse 6 in, uh, in Luke 18, right? It says, And the Lord continued, and I will continue, Listen to what that corrupt judge said. Now will I judge, how was I speaking, excuse me, it says, Now uh, listen to what that corrupt judge said. Now will God not judge in favor of his own people who cried to him day and night for help? Now will God, Yahweh, will not judge in favor of his own people who cry to him day and night for help? When he told us that's what we had to do anyway, right? Will he be slow to help them? I tell you, he will judge in the favor, in their favor and do it quickly. But the son of man find, but will the son of man found faith on the earth when he comes? Okay. But will Yahweh shall I find faith? That they really going to sit there patiently and wait until he raised thee up for the battle? Are we waiting for him? He will defend us. He will fight for us. And we will hold our peace. Okay, is this, these are things that, that, that we're resting on, the things that the scriptures actually say versus the thing that a street nigga might say? Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to go get mine. I'm about to step. I'm about to step on him. I'm about to spin the block on him. I'm about to whatever, right? I think the point's made, okay? You got to really watch who's guiding the, the flock out there. And you think that Great Millstone is doing, you know, a, a disservice to this truth by, by correcting you young men or just the men that have it off. I'll just say it that way. Just you men that have it off, that, that, that don't have it right. And you, But we gotta, we still got to see where the chip's going to fall at though, right? But, but, but when you look at how we explain what we're, the, the, the perspective we're coming from, we use these precepts, man. We use these scriptures, okay, in its proper context, okay? There's no way you can justify going out for round two uh, uh, as not being carnal, man, okay? So anyway, with that, I'm going to close, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rachach Hodash, the belong to our apostles, the bishops, and the elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, blessings, much love. Until you hope for leg, Lord willing, I'll find to the next one. Shalom.